Yeah, good morning everyone. This is KG Autorepia. If you're new to my channel, you're quite welcome. Uh, today, what we have here, we'll be working on this 2007, is a Hyundai Azara. So I've worked on this vehicle before, I think about a month ago, I did a, I did a spark plug, I replaced the spark plug and the ignition coil. But the car is back here today again, and there's an engine light coming up so he brought it back so we're gonna be taking a look and see what is going on with the car so if you're new to my channel you're quite welcome please consider subscribing support your boy takes one to no one takes two to tango i'm giving away the hbo special today do you know what is the hbo special help a brother out we cannot be fruitful by ourselves we all need each other to survive Having said that, you know my slogan. Let's go. We're getting it right. In the car right now. Right there. Let's scan the car. Like I said before, I did a twin up on this car not too long ago. Spark plug and ignition coils. Oh yeah, it's an aging cool now. I don't know. Could be something else, but uh, we'll find out. Please bear with me. Sometimes it's a uh, X2 scanner. It's fast, you know. Might take a little bit while, but I will get there. See exactly what he's saying. Let's talk online now. Uh, let me pause it. So, uh, okay. I'm going to wait. Please be patient. Yeah, we go. We drop on 10 now. We got one more to go. We will be right there. All right, so we're right there now. So we're going to go to diagnose. We're going to go to trouble coach. I'll see you right there. P0151 O2 Senso Circle Low Voltage. Bank one, sensor, bank two, sensor one, a history. Then you have a history of uh, cylinder six misfiring. So I'm gonna, like I said, I just changed the spark plug and the ignition coil, maybe like about a month or something ago, going to two months. But I'm gonna focus on replacing this uh, bank, uh, bank two, sensor one, P0, one five one so we're gonna be replacing that sensor is located in the front there let me exit this now we'll come back and uh... all right kg so we're back now so oh uh, you know this vehicle is 3.3 liter so the bank one is gonna be on this side uh the ignition coil the uh number one firing is right here is one two three four five six so the number one is gonna be on this side right there bank one sensor one is gonna be right there then bank one sensor two is gonna be below it there so you know the uh the number two is right here so bank one uh a sensor two bank one is gonna be right here right here you can't be able to see that that guy right there then sensor two, bank two is gonna be, I believe underneath right there. So we're gonna be replacing this guy right here. Yeah, guy right here. That's the guy we're talking about right now. So I'm gonna bring you guys along and take it out. So KG be right. Say spend your money. So we're gonna be using this guy right here, Astro. This is the number right there. These are all for oxygen sensor. 
you know it's very good spend your money like i always say so you have different ones that are different ones you have there so we're going to be using this guy because we're going to be coming right down here see right here that's where we're coming so we need something that can be able to go down in this lot right here sorry right there see right there see we have that there right there let's see if i can be able to feed it That's the sensor right there. I couldn't show it, but I was able to break it loose and bring that down. So there's a guy going to replace it. I'm going to do an arch, try to match one up there, taking this with me. If you look at the, the honest, it's a little kind of funny right there. I want to make sure I got the right one. So KG, you'll be right back. So I got the LCG sensor already. I bought it from an arch. So like I say, if you want to uh, change your OCG sensor, it's better you buy a good one. There's a Denso. I recommend this KG, you know, the, these things are not cheap. So this is the part number right there. Uh, bring it up. Yeah, 2344854. That's a part number, so we will bring it up. So what I did was I took out the one that was here and I took that with me to arch. So I didn't want to, you know, sometimes they give you back and forth. You'll be going back. I just want to make sure everything match right and uh, come back in one piece. So, uh, see right there. Everything seems to be the same. So this is where you have to look for first, the connector. See the connector? That's it, four pins right there. You can come here and look at this also. See, everything looks really good. So this one comes like a little, I don't know, there's no grease. So we're just gonna open this up. This guy right here, gonna open it and put a little, just a little right here. And then we'll go ahead and install it. The KG will be right. So as you can see, put a little not on the surface there where the oxygen is breathed so that's it so we're gonna go in there and uh, put it back in so as you can see the oxygen sensor is in there right now just be mindful when you are uh, putting it back you know you don't have to force it just make sure you tread it with your hand first you know probably like about three or four tread you know so with that you'll be good to go because i've seen a lot of people I mess up that tray there. That's not a, it's not a little feast, you know. So that's it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead now and reconnect this guy right there and uh, reset the engine code and then uh, ready to start this one. So that's it right there. So after you reconnect everything, so this guy go in this slot right here. You see this little slot right there? Go right there and push it right there. And just make sure that pin once you put it back press that pin back there so what i'm gonna do because it showed me uh like a misfiring on number six so i'm gonna swap this uh, ignition coil to this one uh see if the if the misfiring follow it to right down there you know to the number four but if not believe we should be good to go okay g be right back so we're gonna go ahead and uh, clear the code Right there, clearing trouble code. I'm gonna say yes, confirm that. There you go. So that's pretty, well, that's much, pretty it. much it. KGR, hope you like the video. <laughs> Comment, whatnot, you know how it go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next episode. KG signing out. Booyah, peace, love you all.